What's up everyone, Zach Life here, and today we're going to check out this custom thicket from Ballet Gear Guitars. <laughs> So one quick thing before we get started, I am not being paid by, nor am I being sponsored or endorsed by Balaguer Guitars for this video. Instead, my good friend and personal guitar tech, Justin, works for the company as a tech, and he lent me this guitar to check out just to kind of get my thoughts on it and to see if I wanted to order a Balaguer myself. And my initial impressions of this guitar are that the attention to detail and the amount of options that you have when specking out a semi-custom Balaguer. I mean, this guitar is incredible. I mean, just look at the attention to craftsmanship and the detail in each part of this guitar. I've had it for a couple days and it feels and plays different from the other guitars I have, but in a good way. It's a very unique feeling, sounding, and playing guitar. And today I just wanna go over some of the main features of this guitar and what you could expect when ordering a Balaguer guitar for yourselves. So let's go over the main points and highlights of this guitar, right? Balaguer are known for their unique body shapes and designs. We can see that this thicket here has a beautiful belly carve on this side and on the front has a forearm scoop, which means when you're sitting down playing the guitar, it doesn't dig into your body at all like a traditional Telecaster, and your arm isn't stuck with an uncomfortable sharpness on the body, and so the guitar just kind of sits into you and makes it very comfortable to play. The guitar itself, although it looks heavy, it's really not that heavy. I'd say it's about the same weight, if not a little bit lighter than a traditional Fender guitar. The neck itself, I can only describe as like a thin U shape, almost maybe like a D profile. It's not as pronounced as a Fender C profile. And playing the guitar, it's just very comfortable. And having the flat part of the neck almost reminds me of that trapezoidal kind of slant on a Strandberg, but without forcing your thumb to be in a specific playing position, but rather it just helps to comfortably guide your thumb up and down the neck, which allows you to get all the way up to the top here without anything in your way. This specific guitar has a beautiful, beautiful Macassar Ebony neck. I mean, just look at the detailing on that thing. I mean, before we go any further, let's go through the specs of this guitar. The specs on my specific Balaguer Thicket are a 25 and a half inch scale length, one piece Macassar ebony neck, and a 16 inch fretboard radius with stainless steel frets. The guitar features an alder body with a flame maple solid top featuring natural binding. The electronics include a Hypernova bridge pickup and a Nova single coil in the neck. Rounding off the guitar are a Graf Tech nut and a hip shot bridge. The specs and features of this guitar allow it to feel, play, and sound above its weight class. With the specs out of the way, let's hear how this thing sounds in the mix and by itself.
So what are my overall thoughts on the Battlegear Thicket? I gotta say, these things are really sweet, especially for the price. I originally met the team at Balagare during the 2018 Fear the Riff Expo that was in Brooklyn, New York, and I got to play one of their 7-string models, and it was hands down the best 7-string I've played in a long time. It was very articulate, very clear, it sounded great, it felt great, the scale length and the neck were perfect and it made me a fan of the company. The guys are super nice, it's a small team in Pennsylvania. Definitely recommend you go check out the Balagare website, link in the description below. Again, I am not affiliated with Balagare in any way, shape, or form. I just love the team and I think that what they're doing are great for the community. As always, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. I read and respond to every single one. Let me know what you think about Balagare guitars. Have you ever played one? You thinking about ordering one? Be sure to let me know. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, everyone, keep on practicing, keep on following your dreams.